Hello everyone, welcome to in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to see the next problem on DUIS. So this is our question, solve this integration and hence show that this integration is equal to this. So we have two parts. First, we have to solve this part. So let's say this is our I, okay? So now we have to perform this integration. So now we have to perform this integration, but here we have the two constants A and B. So we have to first perform this integration by taking the UIS with respect to A and then taking the UIS with respect to B and so on. But now what we are going to do, we will solve this integration as it is in traditional method. And to evaluate this part, we will use the UIS. Okay. So here we have A square sine square X plus B square cos square X. So I am dividing numerator by cos square X and I am dividing denominator by cos square X. So this cos square x cos square x will get cancelled. 1 upon cos square x will be 6 square x dx upon a square sine upon cos is 10 square x plus b square integration 0 to pi by 2 dx. So now we have to solve this integration and we are using the traditional formula. So we put a tan x equal to t then I am taking the derivative. So derivative of tan x is 6 square x dx is dt. So sec square x dx, this whole term will now be dt upon a. Okay. Since we have changed the variable, our limits of integration will also get changed. So here we write initial variable, which is x new variable is t. x is going from 0 to pi by 2. When we put x equal to 0 here, tan 0 is 0. When we put x equal to pi by 2, we get t equal to infinity. If we get the new limits at 0 to infinity, sec square x dx is dt by a upon 1 upon a square and we are putting a tan x as t so it will be t square plus b square so a is constant we are taking a outside so we have 1 upon a and integration of 1 upon t square plus b square will be 1 upon b tan inverse of t by b and then we apply the lower limit of t and upper limit of t so we get 1 upon a b upper limit minus lower limit when we put t equal to infinity, we have tan inverse of infinity, which will be pi by 2. When we put t equal to 0, we get tan inverse of 0, which is 0. So our i will become pi upon 2ab. See, so this is our i, that is this integration.